Hi, I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope Magazine here at the 2017 Northeast Astronomy Forum, better known to most people as NEEF. And right now I'm in the booth for iOptron. This is a company that is increasingly well known among readers of Sky and Telescope Magazine for developing a lot of mounts and a lot of very innovative equipment. And one of the things that's always exciting about NEEF is every year they seem to have something new and interesting to talk about. And right now I'm with Roger Rivers, the sales and marketing manager for iOptron, and he's going to show me some of the stuff that they've got new. So yes, let's go, Roger. Hi. Um, let's start out with the Sky Tracker Pro. Okay. This is a product we introduced last summer. It's a it's a continuation of the, of the a very successful Sky Tracker camera tracking product we had. So the Sky Tracker was something we reviewed in the magazine a few years ago, and in fact, this item was a hot product pick for 2017 in Sky and Telescope. It's an exciting year for iOptron. We're really establishing ourselves as the leader in camera tracker type products. We just recently introduced the new Sky Guider Pro, which is an extension from the Sky Tracker. The Sky Guider Pro offers a number of new features. First of all, it has four tracking rates. It does lunar tracking, sidereal tracking, solar tracking, and, and one half X tracking. Half X tracking creates an optical illusion where a foreground terrestrial object can also look stable in a, a deep sky object such as the Milky Way galaxy can be in the same frame of a photograph and look like they belong together and that neither is moving. This is this new technique that skyscape photographers are <laughs> exploiting where they can track the stars for a few seconds, 15, 30 seconds, the stars look really sharp and the foreground looks really sharp rather than having <laughs> one or the other blurred. That's a really big feature. Yeah, the, the, the entire camera tracker category is not only appealing to astrophotographers and astronomers, it's bringing photographers into the astronomy world because they're seeing the results of the Milky Way images, astroscapes, skyscapes, whatever term you use, right. and, and enjoying it. And became, frankly, we're growing our hobby because new people who weren't interested in astronomy before are now discovering it through astrophotography, through tracking photography. Very cool. I noticed this has got some extra equipment on it. I mean, you've got a counterweight here, so it looks like you can put a fairly heavy camera or telephoto lens, even a small telescope on it. Yes, the Sky, Sky, Sky Guider Pro comes with a declination bracket and a counterweight system. It can carry multiple payloads. It can carry a main camera, a telescope, whatever instrument's choice on top, up to 11 pounds. It can also carry a secondary payload at the bottom of up to seven pounds. So you can carry two cameras, you can carry a telescope and a camera, a camera and a guide scope, or a number of different configurations. I notice it's got a number of internal ports. What are all of these for? Yes, it has a port for ST4 compatible guider. So In industry standard auto guider. Correct. It has a port for a USB charger as well as USB information so you can upgrade firmware on right. a, a later, later developments. It has a um, hand controller port. The hand controller can display a Polaris chart so you know exactly where Polaris is for polar alignment. The hand controller can also um, vary the rate of tracking so you can use the hand controller for guiding or changing the tracking rate. The hand controller can also operate the trigger port which fires the camera for astrophotos. So you can literally control the camera from your hand controller. All right, so let me back up. The controller is an accessory. It is an accessory. All right, let me back you up for a second. You said it has a chart for Polaris to help with the polar alignment. Correct. All right. Does this come with a polar alignment scope? Yes, this is a variable illumination power polar scope. Its etching actually matches the chart that you see on the hand controller to know exactly where Polaris goes. And the variable illumination helps you see the, see the reticle at various uh, lighting conditions. All right, that's nice. So you said that the hand controller was an option, but the polar scope is, it comes with the package. It does come with the package. All right, so continue on. You, had, you and, mentioned the trigger, so the trigger for the camera. Yes, it has a trigger port. You just plug the camera tr trigger pin right here. And then if you, when you're using the optional hand controller, you can control when the camera fires and its duration of exposure. So you don't have to disturb the camera while you're taking an image. You never have to touch it, really nice. Exactly. What's it used for power? It has an internal lithium polymer battery. It's rechargeable, it runs for up to 24 hours of continuous operation. So it's got a built-in battery, that's really nice. Yeah, it has a lot of standard features that come with the Sky Guider Pro. First of all, it comes with the counterweight shaft as well as the counterweight. Also has this really unique AZ mount base. The base basically uses slow motion controls for both the azimuth and the altitude. So it makes it very easy to polar align. Second of all, the base is reversible. So not only do you have a, a larger range of motion for uh, aligning the mount, you can also control the center of gravity better. So you keep everything stabilized and just makes for a more stable platform. Over the top of the tripod. Correct. 
So that helps keep the weight centered over the tripod for stability. It makes for a very stable platform for the camera. Users that have used this product have commented how little vibration, how stable the whole system is. A couple more features that it has, it does have a declination adjustment so you don't have to use a ball head as with a lot of camera trackers. And we even have a dovetail saddle that can be mounted so you can put Vixen saddle, uh, Vixen plate mounted uh, instruments on Small telescopes it, directly or, yeah. onto, the, onto the Skyguider Pro. The Skytrack, Skyguider Pro can break down to a minimalist size too for hikers and cyclists who want to carry the least amount. You can remove the alt azimuth base and it goes on quarter 20 or 3 8 inch tripod. So that's a little insert that you can just take out and yes. put it on either, either one. The main idea can be, it can be broken down to minimal components so it's convenient for hi hikers and cyclists that want to carry as little as possible. Just take this along with their tripod and their camera and they've got a complete system to take with them. And they're ready. That's really nice. What else do you have to show me? We can take a look at our new line of RC telescopes. Let's go. This is our new line of Photron Astrograph RC telescopes. We have them in three different sizes. We have a 150 millimeter F9, a 200 millimeter F8, and a 250 millimeter F8. Six, eight, and 10 inches. Correct. All right. We have a couple of interesting new features that we're going to supply with our Astrograph telescopes. First of all, we're going to include an electronic focuser, and it's an ASCOM compliant electronic focuser. So it's more than just shifting a direction of focus and moving a distance. It, it's a smart focuser. It detects temperature variations and other things that create, make it ASCOM compliant. They also feature dual tubtails, so you can mount extra equipment on top of the telescope. All right. Another nice feature about the RC optical system, we have eight baffles to reduce scatter light within the tube. So keep down, scatter light off, reflected off the side of the tube. Helps increase contrast with photography. So this 10 inch scope, 250 millimeter, this is the largest aperture that iOptron has yet offered as a telescope. Yes, it is the largest aperture scope we've offered. For, we're well known for our innovation in our mounts, especially the CEM series, which is a center balance mount, which is our own invention, our own design. But what we would like to do is allow, have to be a one source solution for the consumer where they can come get the an entire imaging package as well as visual astronomy package from, from my upchart. Just from one source? From one source. All right. Well, Roger, listen, I want to thank you very much for telling about these new products. And for viewers who want more information about anything that you've seen here today or any of the other products in the iOptron line, you can go to their website at ioptron.com. I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope at the 2017 NEEF.